Hello, my name is Darren Korb, and I'm the composer for Hades. I'm the audio director for Supergiant Games, and I'm going to be teaching you how to play Good Riddance from Hades. Uh, normally, I play this song on a balama. It's what it's written on and what I played on on the soundtrack. It's a sort of long-necked Turkish instrument, uh, which only has three courses of string, so it's like actually a little simpler to play on that instrument. But I'm assuming most people watching this don't have one of those. So I've sort of transcribed it for the guitar and I made some tabs. So those will be down below and you can follow along, but I'm gonna teach you how I play uh, this song, Good Riddance. So it starts in a C minor. And now, so real quick, all of these chords are gonna be just three of the notes from the chord. It's, it's basically just the root, the fifth and the third for every single chord. So for the C minor, I play it like this. I'm going to be picking through with my fingers like that. Uh, so it starts with C minor, and then goes to a B flat major. So that change again is. And then I slide up to an F minor, to an E flat major. So it goes like this. flat major, but played up here this time, and then to an A flat major. So that whole figure goes like this. And then it repeats. So that's going to actually repeat um, three times before anything different happens. So once is sort of like an introduction to the tune with no singing, then it plays a couple of times with singing, and then the when you get to the variation here, it goes like this. So same part, same beginning part, and this is where it changes. It goes, instead of going to the B flat, we go to a D flat and then to a C minor again. So this is this is the part that happens sort of at the end of each verse. Um, so so let me take it back and I'll let me let me sing through um, with it so you'll kind of under, know where everything goes. I'll play the intro and then I'll start singing through it. Here's where it changes. Atlas can rest his weary bones. Okay, so that's where we've learned up to so far. And then it goes to uh, it goes to a B flat. The weight of the to A flat. World. To G minor. Oh. Back to A flat. So let me teach you, teach you this part. <clears throat> so it goes, I'm playing just the, the B flat over here, and then it just takes the whole shape down to the A flat. And then the G minor, I'm just playing a bar chord, um, essentially, like it's it's almost like a G minor seven bar chord, but I'm only playing three of the notes. The one, five, and three. And then back up. Now, we go to this guy, which is, you can call it a bunch of different things, uh, G7 over F, I guess, is what I've settled on. So you're going to play that, that's up on the 8th fret there. With your first finger on the 8th fret of the A string. And then you got a little flat 5 there, relationship. With your, well, I play it with my middle finger there, and then my second finger is over on the 8th fret of the B string. whole form repeats for the next verse. And so we're going to sort of skip ahead. You play that entire form one more time except for the intro. So we leave out the intro. Um, but you play the whole form again, and then we're going to start at the bridge now. Um, 
which goes something like this. It starts on C minor, same shape that we've been doing. I like to play, um, restate that bass note before I change chords to a D diminished. So it's the uh, first finger on the fifth fret of the A string. And then you got your second finger on the sixth fret of the D and your third finger on the sixth fret of the B. And then up to a, uh, it goes E flat major here. And then back to that D diminished. I mean, you can play the D diminished however you like, um, whatever's easiest for you to change between those two chords. Might actually be easier to play with your uh, ring finger and your pinky here. And then back to C minor. So you just keep repeating that. Um, times all the same and then the fourth time you go like this first three chords the same and then you do a B diminished which is the same shape as that D diminished but you move down to the second fret of the A string to a B B root there and then you just play that whole verse for them one more time and then that's the entire song. So there you have it. I've got tabs that I'm gonna put below the, uh, <laughs> the video of myself so you'll see those. But uh, thank you for watching and I hope you're enjoying Hades and uh, good luck getting out of hell.